Today, decarbonizing transport is one of the biggest challenges cities face around the world. By 2050, 65% of world's population will live in cities and urban transportation systems will need to handle an extra 2.5 billion journeys. As we near the tipping point in this low carbon transition, I'm interested in how cities use innovation and technology to bring about systemic change. The most important goal is that the whole of Stockholm should be fossil fuel free in 2040. We, uh, we plan to be the smartest city. The transport sector is a big challenge for uh, Stockholm and Sweden overall. It's probably the last barrier we have towards being a uh, fossil free and emission neutral country. I don't think we need to have private cars in the city. And it's a combination of, this is important, it's a combination of, of bicycles and boats and trams and buses, but, but uh, I think we, we past the stadium where, where the car was uh, something you built the city around. We challenge private car use and, and we investigate how new technology can uh, create solutions. We work closely together with the city of Stockholm, uh, both to, uh, to research certain questions, but also to put together uh, demonstration sites and, and long-term test sites. We are studying how automated vehicles can complement public transport. So uh, this is a vehicle that uh, is used in a project called uh, the Loved City. <laughs> and this is a collaboration between a delivery company and a waste company um, and also property owners of different stores in Stockholm. Uh, and the city of Stockholm. The aim for this project is to reduce the amount of uh, cars that transport things in and out of the city. This car goes out to deliver things in the city of Stockholm and at the same time it picks up the trash from the different stores that they deliver to. So this is a good example on how the city can actually start and uh, be the um, accelerator. This is a revolution. Recent ferries can provide the technology to make uh, all ferries emission-free. To make a change totally into a fully electric and hydrogen ferries would maybe take five or ten years. We can provide the technology and, and the rest is uh, politics. One key is of course collaboration. Both the citizens uh, and the different companies and uh, everyone in the city to show them what they should do and what they can do and make it easier to do that. And now there, I think there, we were about 230 different companies that works together with the city of Stockholm. The researchers are important in this uh, transition to sustainable transportation because we can, uh, we can challenge the norms we, we can try things in demonstrations that are uh, beyond the status today, beyond the norms. My research first focused on a demonstration project for a new electric hybrid bus in uh, the suburb of Sedertele here in Stockholm. This bus was charged wirelessly, so there was no visible infrastructure essentially. And we wanted to test the feasibility of that solution as well as the impacts on energy consumption and emission reduction. We have seen a tremendous change in public transport uh, for buses. Uh, from 2007 and only 8% of uh, fossil free fuels in the bus fleets, we see now that bus fleets in Stockholm are practically fossil free. And this happened in less than 10 years because of this ambition and the goals that were set in the first place. The public sector and the city are not falling back on the ambition level and there are many times that they are actually more ambitious and have uh, more exciting ideas than even the researchers do. As a politician you can't go out and deliver things but you can find the people that do that and they could probably come up with really good ideas how to do that better if you tell them what you want to achieve. Here we see some of the best innovation in the world, which have the potential to be deployed at scale in many international cities around the world. Long-term thinking and clear vision is essential for bringing everyone together and finding a best way forward. Great innovation isn't just about technology, it's as much about sharing information effectively and making the journey together.